realairculture.com's coverage of Canada's Farm Progress Show in Regina, Saskatchewan is brought to you by Morris. We hear you. So Don, we're standing in front of the, uh, the hay hiker. A lot yep. of interest in the hay hiker. A lot of farmers uh, ask, you know, seeing that it has a real fit on their farm. What is the hay hiker? Well, we've been building these uh, hay hikers for over 30 years, and uh, obviously we've, we've had some model changes over the years, And uh, but uh, they're a real solid built machine uh, for a farmer who's who's picking uh, or making round bales. This is the ideal machine for picking them. It's very simple, easy to operate. You hook it up to your tractor. All you need is the two remotes that you normally use in your tractor. And uh, you have a fork that's situated on one side of the machine here. And uh, what you do is you can either follow the bale if you want or go across the field and, and pick the bales. This fork will lower down. You come into the bale from the, from the end and once you get the bale into the fork you hit your hydraulics it lifts it up and throws it over to the far side of the wagon here then you return the fork back down again and pick the next one place it in in this uh, trough here and then this blue bar here you take that activate your other lever in the tractor cab and push them back the length of the fork and return that and then pick two more so okay. they're very so how many how many round bales could fit on the, the hay well it just round bales vary in width right okay and uh, and also in diameter and that's why we've got the side rails on here and you can move them in and out depending on the diameter but round bales are usually anywhere from four to six feet in diameter and they vary anywhere from four to six feet in length some countries only bring in you know four, four foot round balers so so in turn like in Australia this machine would pick 12 bales where in Canada it only picks eight because of the size of the balers bale that the baler puts out. Okay and how about loading speed? How, how long does it take to, if you put 12 bales on this trailer how long would it take you to fill the trailer? Well you know a lot of it's got to do with how, how smooth the field is and and you know whether the guy's got a good seat and a good tractor that he's using uh, using to pick with but uh, yeah, you, you'd pick uh, eight bales in Canada here in under 10 minutes. Usually you pick, uh, if, if you're picking the eight bales, you pick four on the way into the field and four on the way out. And uh, they're very simple. When you want to unload, all you do is you lower your fork down and uh, to a degree, and then uh, this wagon will tilt, and you put your tractor in neutral, and this push bar here starts pushing the bales back or actually what it does is starts pushing the tractor and wagon from underneath the bales. So it works very very easily. You can get your ba your bales very tight together. We've got a little crooked piece of pipe there at the very end of the machine there and that just splits the bales so they don't touch. Uh, sometimes if the bales touch and you get a lot of moisture where they touch the bales will rot. So these this has made bales sit out quite a, quite a while, the round ones, and a lot of with the net wrap or whether it be uh, sisal or, or, uh, or the plastic twine on there. Bale, a lot of bales sit for a year or so before sometimes they're used. So these, these really shed the water well. So are a lot of guys using this to basically gather the bales in the field and put them at the edge where they can be stacked? Well, in some cases, usually if they uh, they're selling the bales, they'll just roadside them. But uh, a lot of guys with the round bale pickers, they're using them for their own use, so they would haul them home into their hay yard and, and, and have them there. So it, they work out real well, and uh, we have a little weight box over on this side, so if you get extremely heavy bales, you know, you could put some weight in, in this side and it would offset picking that first first bale up. We have uh, extra heavy duty springs and uh, tires and so forth, uh, big eight bolt hubs and stuff. So they really take the, the tough going. What does a machine like this retail for? Eh? It's right around $30,000, yeah. You'd be selling them in, uh, in or in Europe and uh, in Australia and Canada? Yeah, yeah we do. All, all of those countries we sell them in. And, and we do quite a, quite a bus business in the U.S. with them. Yeah, uh, they're they're badged under they're manufactured by Morris Industries, but they're badged Pro Ag, and that's our hay division of our company. 